7th edition of the Metrics World's Strongest Man. Our host location is the Commerce Hotel in Los Angeles, California. The Queen Mary, the now retired ocean liner in Long Beach, California, is the site for the fourth event in Group 5's qualifying round. It's a super yoke. One of the most torturous and demanding events our athletes have to endure. 1,000 pounds, that's half a ton, on their shoulders down a 25 meter course. Coming into the Super Yoke in last place overall, it's been a pretty rough competition for Eben LaRue of Australia. He's hoping to turn it around right here. Next to him, James Fennelly of Kilkenny, Ireland, and he's in fifth place overall. This is a battle of two of the world's strongest man rookies. And Todd, I cannot imagine coming Take into the World's Strongest Man for the first time and being faced Ready? with 1,000 pound super yokes. This is brutal for any strong man, but for someone who's not a veteran of the sport to come in and attempt this. And these guys are both under 300 pounds. This is more than three times their body weight, nearly four times their body weight. Bentley trying to get a rhythm going, but it's tough to do, as you pointed out, with a 1,000 pounds on your back. This is much different than going into the gym, getting under a 1,000-pound barbell. A barbell is going to be much easier to control, believe it or not. This is a very dynamic, very lively load that has a lot of leverage points on the shoulders and really wants to throw the entire body around. 38.69 is the mark to beat, put up by James Fenley of Ireland. Meanwhile, Eben LaRue really struggling with more than 10 meters to go. Well, Ireland and Australia both have a lot to be proud of. This is a great showing. Fenley able to carry it the full distance, and Australia's LaRue giving everything he's got, trying to get every last inch, and hopefully earn a few extra points. Second place, a distance of 23.10 meters for LaRue, but James Fennelly sets the mark to beat. 38.69 seconds, he completes the entire course. Really a fantastic result for a man who's never been to the world's strongest man before, facing 1,000 pounds over 25 meters. The six foot two, 353 pound Alex Moonen of the Netherlands is currently in fourth place in the overall standings. Now he's paired with a fellow rookie in Mike Burke of Colorado. He's in third place overall, 6'6", 350 pounds. He's definitely got the size, but this is a man who's relatively inexperienced at 38 years of age. But Todd, don't forget, Burke is from Colorado and his training partner is the reigning champion, Brian Shaw. And I think it's a safe bet that the two of them have actually trained this event. And it's probably paying off right now. 38.69 is the time to beat. Mike Burke has not set down yet. And he's going to cross the line with a new fastest time. 23.09 seconds for the American. Wow. Really great showing from the big man from Colorado, Mike Burke. And for Alex Moonen of the Netherlands, 32.81 seconds. That puts him currently in second place, but it's Burke. Time to beat of 23.09. Mike Burke put his size to good use in the super yoke, and he showed plenty of speed for a big man. Krzysztof Radzikowski of Poland. A 31-year-old is 6'1", 320 pounds, this is England's Terry Hollins. He's unbelievably athletic at 6'6 and 400 pounds. Come on, Terry. Yeah, Terry doesn't look like a guy who's capable of such incredible speed and athleticism, but man, he is shockingly fast. So there's the mark to beat, 23.09 seconds. Shistov Radzikowski on the right. Terry Hollins, though, out in front. This is going to be a fast time. The big man from England coming to the finish line. And he stops the clock and gets the win. Just over 18 seconds for Terry Hollins. Radzikowski, not a bad time himself. Just a couple seconds behind Terry. Second place for Shistov Radzikowski, but Terry Hollins wins yet again in the Super Yoke. Good.
Another win for Terry Hollins. The big man motored down the course in 18.79 seconds. Shistoff Radzikowski was second. It was a good showing for Mike Burke, who finished in third. With 21 points, Hollins takes sole possession of the lead after four events. Radzikowski is a point back in second. Burke is in third with 15 points, but remember, only two men will move on to the final. There's always something going on at the Commerce Hotel in Los Angeles, California, from live blockbuster concerts to professional boxing. Commerce Hotel is where it all happens. Just minutes away from the Commerce Hotel and Casino is Universal Studios Hollywood. The fifth of six events for this group was the deadlift. Australia's Eben LaRue only had one good lift of a 781-pound car. Alex Moonen of the Netherlands produced three repetitions. The USA's Mike Burke fought his way to a total of five reps. Comfortably ahead in the overall standings, Terry Hollins didn't need to push himself, and he stopped at eight reps. Turning in 11 repetitions was Irish rookie James Fenley, as well as Shistov Radzikowski of Poland, He's making his second appearance at the world's strongest man. James Fenley and Shistov Radzikowski share the victory in the deadlift. Terry Hollins was third, Mike Burke's fourth place finish wasn't enough to keep his hopes of moving on alive. Hollins Radzikowski assumes the overall lead with 25 and a half points. Hollins is in second with 25, but the most important detail for the top two is that they'll complete the 10-man field in the World's Strongest Man final. The host venue for the 35th edition of the Metrics World's Strongest Man is the Commerce Hotel and Casino in Los Angeles, California, one of the West Coast's premier gaming destinations. Group 5 completes their qualifying round at Venice Beach, and their final event is a World's Strongest Man classic, the Atlas Stones. No handles, no steel weight plates, nothing but stone. These five giant boulders weigh up to 405 pounds. Can any of our six athletes load all five? Please welcome from Australia, Even LaRue. In our first heat, it is a pair of rookies, Even LaRue of Australia, in fifth place in the overall standings. And his opponent will be James Fenley of Ireland, who's in sixth place. Now, neither of these guys can qualify for the final because those two bursts have already been spoken for by Terry Hollins and Shistov Radzikowski. Ready! So it's Fenley on the left, LaRue on the right. Both of these men still eager to show the world how strong they are. This is their opportunity. Well, LaRue really struggling. Now, that first stone is heavy at 275. But Fenley onto stone number two, and he's starting to have his issues with a 310-pound stone. Todd, these stones can be so humbling. You have to show them no respect, no fear. Just be 100% aggressive and confident. It's not enough to just be strong. You have to pull out all the stops and just go for it. All right, Phil, you've done this event many times over your career. What was it like the first time you handled the Atlas Stones? Todd, I was so determined there was no way I was going to miss a lift. I've been very fortunate over the years to have good luck with the Atlas Stones. We've seen these stones over and over again humble the best of strongmen. The Atlas Stones are the great equalizer in the strongman world. Well, certainly the case for Eben LaRue, no stones, so that puts him currently in second place. James Fenley fared a little better, three stones at a time of 45.93, so he is the current leader. The Irishman, Fenley, he's battled his way through all six events, and he didn't stop. He gave 100% and managed to finally load the third stone. Great job. So Alex Moonen, the 29-year-old geography teacher from the Netherlands, is in fourth place in the overall standings. He'll be facing off with American Mike Burke, a carpenter by trade from Aurora, Colorado. Now, the big American is in third place overall. Both these guys would like nothing more than to close out their first trip to the world's strongest man in style. How about Burke? Great start for him. That first stone, 275. He's on to number two, which weighs 310. And I really like the way he hustles from the first stone over to the second, jumps right back in without hesitating. Good transition. No problem on the third stone. Meanwhile, he is well ahead of Moonen. This four stone, 360 pounds. Burke is in attack mode. Doesn't hesitate with the fifth one. And he gets it, 405 pounds. American Mike Burke with a great time. 
32.03 seconds. Meanwhile, Alex Munin of the Netherlands still struggling with that four stone, which weighs 360 pounds. But he gets it. So Mike Burke cannot qualify for the final, but a great performance in the stones. All five in 32.03 seconds for Moonen. Four stones in 46.61. Burke has had just a fantastic showing in his first ever World's Strongest Man. I've got to think there are more great things to come in his future and the strongman world. And now the two men who've already qualified for the final in this group, Krzysztof Radzikowski of Poland, will be making his first trip to the final in his second World's Strongest Man appearance. And Terry Holland. He was eliminated the qualifiers back in 05, but since then, he's now reached seven consecutive finals, and twice he's been on the podium with third place finishes. Holland's on the left, Shistov Radzikowski of Poland on the right. Great, efficient first stone for Hollands. Radzikowski looks like he's really pacing himself. Not too concerned, of course. And what I love about this by Hollands is, as Radzikowski says enough, is he's already into the final. He doesn't have to do this, Phil, but he's powering through for the fans. Maybe get a little extra practice in. Hollins, fantastic strong man. I'd expect nothing less. So the mark to beat is 32.03, put up by American Mike Burke. And Terry Hollins has passed that time, but he's going to go for number five. Remember, folks, this stone, 405 pounds. And he's got it. 45.43 seconds for Terry Holland's all five stones. For Shistov Radzikowski, he places just one stone in just over eight seconds, saving his energy for the final. But it's Terry Holland's joining him there, second place here in the Atlas Stones. Mike Burke's goal was to reach the final. That didn't happen, but he does close out the qualifying round with a victory in the Atlas Stones with a score of five stones in 32.03 seconds. Terry Holland's was second, Alex Moonen was third. As we look at the final standings, Terry Hollins wins the group with 30 points. Shistov Radzikowski finishes second with 27 and a half. We'll next see Hollins and Radzikowski in the final. Mike Burke finished in third. Ten athletes have survived the punishment of a grueling qualifying round. And the stage is now set for the Metrics World's Strongest Man final. For Phil Fister, I'm Todd Harris. This has been the Metrics World's Strongest Man. So long from California.